Good morning. It is day nine of not going to the grocery store. Today is April 14th. It is my niece's birthday, Haley, so I'm working on a birthday cake for her. This is my last carton of eggs. I actually had three when I, um, a couple weeks ago, but with Easter, um, we made deviled eggs, we dyed Easter eggs, and I've baked a lot of sweets lately. So this is it. When I run out of these eggs, um, hopefully I can get it to last a couple more weeks, but I doubt it because like I said, I bake a lot of sweets. Um, so this, I have three eggs for this cake mix. I knew, I always plan ahead for my niece's birthday, so I had bought everything I needed ahead of time, so I didn't need to go to the store. So yes, nine days of not going to the grocery store. I did go to Walgreens again yesterday. It's the third time I've had to go to Walgreens since my grocery store challenge. But again, I just go in really quickly, drop off a FedEx package, and leave. I'm not buying anything in and out in less than two minutes. I normally don't have this many FedEx packages. It's hilarious. As soon as I try to not go to any stores, all of a sudden I have tons of orders that require to be shipped by FedEx. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this birthday cake. I am going to take it to my niece Haley this afternoon, and we're going to have an extremely small birthday party. It's just going to be Holly, her family, and me and my husband. That's it. They usually We usually invite other family members, a couple friends, but nope, she's having a quarantine birthday party, just the six of us. It's day 10 of my no grocery store challenge, but guess what? I am going to have to go to Deerberg's today, um, but I'm not going like to the, sh the store part. I mean, I am. That makes no sense. Okay, I got to drop these packages off at the UPS office. Deerberg's has a UPS branch, so I'll go straight to the UPS section of it. I'm not even going to look at anything. So what happened is these are Amazon returns. I um, bought my niece a record player for her birthday yesterday. It works great. She loves the record player, but the two records I bought with her to, or I bought to go with the record player, they have skips in them. And she got some other records from some other people and they work perfectly. So very embarrassing. The two records I get her are the only ones that sound like crap. So I'm returning them to Amazon and I am getting her two new records. Um, but I am so proud that she loves her record player. I'm an 80s girl at heart, so the fact that she's listening to vinyl records and she's only 15 really, really makes me happy. So yes, gonna stop by the grocery store. Just go in, like right when you go into the grocery store where the uh, cashier checker stands are, there's a wall where there's like a bank and like a, there used to be a little cafe and then there's the UPS. Um, I don't know if other grocery stores do that, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Drop them off real quick, in and out, and hopefully less than a minute. Sonny, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? What's that you got? Is that your cheese toy? Is that your toy? You're not going to cry now that you know I'm recording you. All right, that's fine. Come here. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Sonny, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> such a good girl even though you were extremely loud howling wanting everyone to pay attention to you that's what it was wasn't it you want everyone to pay attention oh you're such a cute cat yes you are all right i'm gonna go back to work okay no more howling that's very distract oh all right i gotta fix this blanket for you okay I just got back from the post office. I got more bins and I also dropped off my packages at 
um, the UPS store at Derberg's. I totally forgot they have an outside door to get directly into the UPS store so you don't have to go into Derberg's. Um, and then also, um, I, I probably include a quick clip that shows when you go into Derberg's now, they want you to wash your hands and they have those outdoor washing stations like you see at festivals and stuff, which is fine, but it's like freezing right now. So uh, I didn't go into Derberg's, so I didn't need to wash my hands, but man, I bet that water is freezing right now. And so um, they've had that washing station for a while, but this is the first time I noticed that they moved it and they now want you to wash your hands before you go into the store. And there's two entrances. They now changed one entrance to entrance only and the other entrance to exit only. So when you go into the store, I'm assuming they're routing you somehow. Like I said, I didn't go inside um, because the UPS has a separate door. So I went into the UPS store and there was other people inside um, they had the sign, please stay six feet apart. Um, so one guy was wearing a mask, the one woman was not wearing a mask. It's so, in my area, it's 50-50. Half the people wear masks, half the people don't. So I, right now, I have masks. My sister made me one, I made one. But right now, I'm just using my chocolate run bandana because it's quicker and I can just wash it every night. It's a lot easier. So anyway, yeah, day nine, no grocery store, even though I was close. Very, very close to that grocery store but no shopping <laughs> good morning happy sunday it is april 19th and it's been officially two weeks since i have been grocery store shopping um i did a mini grocery store challenge for myself how long can i go without grocery shopping and it has been officially 14 days so if you have been watching my youtube channel you do know that i'm still out and about i've had a couple comments of people saying hey you really shouldn't be out and about you really should be staying home i understand that i wish i had that luxury to stay home every single day um, but i don't i am a sole proprietor um, i own my own business i have to go to the post office every day and i don't do post uh post office pickup i the reason I don't is several reasons. Um, last year I had over a thousand dollars worth of merchandise stolen from my front porch while I was waiting for the post office to come pick up the packages. And I was home at the time, so some very brazen thieves. Um, I filed a police report, I filed a complaint with the post office, nothing ever came of it. So no, I'm not gonna take the risk of having packages on my porch waiting for the postal service to come pick it up. I go to the post office every day, it's two minutes from my house, I put the hand sanitizer on. Uh, when, before I get out of the car, I put hand sanitizer back on when I get back into the car, and I wash my hands as soon as I get home. So as a sole proprietor, uh, this is my business. This is how I pay my bills. And I'm lucky right now that people are still buying product. I still have to go to the post office every day. Um, and, you know, it's important. The post office needs the work too. So um, as a sole proprietor, I am not getting any stimulus money. I know with the stimulus package, sole proprietors were supposed to qualify for unemployment. The federal government says that we should um, qualify qualify for unemployment but the state of Missouri says I don't I tried uh, they rejected it so there is <clears throat> a disconnect between the federal and the states and I'm definitely not the only one who's having problem filing for unemployment there are thousands upon thousands of people who are trying or cannot file for unemployment so that's not an option for me I applied for the small business loan that was another um, option of the stimulus package I applied I filled out all the paperwork never heard another word uh, I, I'm i assuming I didn't get it. I never heard another word. They they accepted my application. They said they'd get back to me. Never heard another word. Um, and <clears throat> I have not filed my 2019 taxes. Um, or I did. I did last week, but it was after they pulled the information for the stimulus check. So if you hadn't filed your taxes for 2019, the government based your stimulus check on your 2018 taxes. 2018 was a wonderful year for me. I made a lot of money. I do not qualify for a stimulus check. Um, I wish I did because 2020 is a completely different year and I could definitely use that stimulus check. So the government's not helping me. I have to help myself. I have to go to the post office every day. Um, I just don't have the luxury to sit um, and I'm not that type of personality that is just gonna idly sit as everything I've worked hard for is taken away um, so I'm paying my bills I'm not I, I I don't know I don't know what to tell you everyone has a right to their own opinion some of the comments I've deleted 
if you're nice how you say it, I'll leave it up. But this is my life. Comment all you want, but I will live my life how I see fit. And so yesterday, yeah, I went to Home Depot. Why did I go to Home Depot? Because I need potting soil. I want to grow my own vegetables, so I don't have to go to the grocery store as much. Um, I want to grow my own tomatoes. I want to grow my own zucchini. I don't want to have to go to farmer's market this summer. I don't want to go to Soulard. I want to grow my own vegetables. And so yes, I went to Home Depot and bought four bags of soil. And um, I, I think that's a necessity. I think that was uh, definitely a necessity. And uh, other than that, I, I'm, I'm not going out. I'm just going to the post office and I went to Home Depot. So, whew, but you know how the internet is. Lots of people love to express their opinions. That's how the internet is. Uh, so what else has been going on? Um, it, Missouri did not get hit with tons of cases like other states. We're very lucky. We do have cases, don't get me wrong, and we do have deaths, but it is on the low end of the spectrum. Um, I live in the St. Louis area, but I don't actually live in St. Louis. Um, I just say St. Louis because it's easier. And in my mind, I live in St. Louis because literally it's 20 minutes for me to get downtown. I see the arch. Um, when I go downtown. I consider myself living in St. Louis even though technically I live on the outskirts in a smaller town um, and all the towns are like right next to each other like two minutes away is the next town over and the next town over and the next town over. So we're all just a, a sprawling metropolis around St. Louis. Um, so technically in the city I live in and the next city over we do not have any COVID-19 cases. Um, there's just you know because you can go and see there, there's websites dedicated to where all the uh, cases are reported and my city has never had a case. Um, matter of fact, the demand is for testing is so low in our area that the, the, they had created a drive-through testing site um, last month. They shut it down the other day because there just wasn't enough demand. Like only four people came through in an eight hour um, space of time and it just wasn't, it's not, the, the nurses and the doctors need to go back to their regular hospitals. It wasn't really efficient for them to stand around at, um, eight hours for just four people. So if, if you want to get tested, you just have to go to an urgent care. No big deal. Uh, I'm just I'm fortunate in the fact that my area has not been hard hit. Um, so I think everyone's doing a pretty good job about maintaining the social distancing. I definitely think everyone is out and about more. Um, but I, I can see both sides of that. I, I can understand, you know, I, I just can't hole up in my house all day long and not do anything. I mean, honestly, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to the parks like I wish I could. Um, going to the store and going to the post office is it. There's so much that I usually do every day and I haven't been doing. So I am definitely doing my part, but there, you know, there is a point where when is enough is enough. I definitely feel like if people maintain social distance, they wear, they wear their masks, they wash their hands. Um, I think it's time for us to go back to a normal life for areas that aren't hard hit. My area is not hard hit. And for, the, for anyone watching who is in like New York that is very hard hit and Florida that looks pretty bad right now, I, I feel for you, I really do. But I'm fortunate my area is not like that and I hope it stays that way. Um, knock on wood, um, and I will, I will do my best by wearing a mask and doing social distancing. But I got bills to pay, I got a business to run, and I don't have the luxury of sitting on my butt because the government's not paying my bills. They're not helping me out with any stimulus. I gotta work. So sorry for anyone that's offended by that. Um, but I do appreciate everyone watching my. If you're watching this, thank you for watching. It does help me a little. I don't make tons of money on YouTube really don't make much at all but you know a little every little bit helps and I do enjoy recording videos I'm not really doing it for the money the money is like the little money that I make is a nice bonus but um, it's just a little hobby of mine I, I enjoy posting videos I enjoy watching other people's videos I'm really into food hauls right now I love watching people's food hauls I don't know and I love watching travel videos um, so I just you know I watch so much that I wanted to contribute and add my home so thank you everyone who is taking the time to watch this video and like I said you're all free to comment your opinions all you want but if you get too rude I do delete it my channel my rules just be nice and I hope everyone stays safe and let's go one more week without grocery shopping see you later